recording. A few things I'd like to start our morning with is one, huge, huge, huge congrats to everyone who was able to submit the assignment last night. There are just a few people left, guys. Submit what you have, okay? Submit what you have. Don't, remember, the grading is not as important as the fact that you put in effort into your assignment, okay? We're not giving out trophies, sadly, but it's important for us to know the progress that you're making. So submit what you have. There are around five people who are yet to submit. Guys, do the thing, okay? Then the other thing I also want us to know is that this evening we're going to be having a, a town hall session with one of our looms who has been in the world of work for a couple of months now. She is going to be letting you know how life in the outside world looks like. And why is this important? Because it could give you additional perspective that you could have when approaching your assignments, especially your three real world jobs assignment and uh, your peer mentorship assignment. Please show up, okay? Please show up and please show up with a lot of questions because you want to know what all this hassle and the struggle is for, okay? The other thing I want us to talk about is how we are doing. But before we begin, I have a lot, I need to know, just generally, how we are. I've launched a poll, it should appear on your screens right now. And uh, just quickly, before we start. And how I want us to start is uh, the things we talk about usually, but as much specificity as possible when it comes to what we did yesterday, what we're doing today, and the struggles or blocks that we are facing, especially in as far as submitting our technical assignments go. Okay, so I want that. Uh, if you submitted your interim assignment yesterday, there's another, there's the technical assignment, the, the non-technical assignments coming up. We also anticipate that you will submit them by Friday. If you're facing any challenges, guys, we want you to remember that the whole team is here to support you. I want the poll to be up for uh, around 60 more seconds. So please answer. We want to know what's up. And guys, if you need us to do anything that's different, that's different, please let us know as well. Okay? We don't want you guys to crash and burn. So in the interim, as that poll keeps standing up, who wants to go first? Who wants to go fast in as far as giving us an update of where they are at, what they're doing yesterday, what they were what they were doing yesterday, what they're doing today, and what blockers you have? And how we will do it is uh, you will give us an update, then you will pick the next person to give us an update. Okay? And you'll also tell us if you've already have met with your peer mentor. So I will start. Uh, Niall, I have volunteered you. You give us an update, tell us if you've met with your mentor, and then you pick the past, next person to give the update. Go on, Nat Niall. No, okay, yeah. Uh, I'm selected my mentor, and we were talking on local chat, and we are going to mm -hmm. set up the meeting, uh, I hope, today. Okay, uh, we need an update on what you worked on yesterday. Sorry? Okay, yesterday I have tried to submit uh, the assignment. Uh, I was late. And, uh, yeah, I was late, but I have submitted the assignment of my work. Okay. Um, is that all? Do you want to share more about what you're working on today? Uh, I will try to work on as uh, today. Yeah. Okay, now I'll pick the next person who's going. Yeah, pick the next person. Okay. Uh, who have you picked? 
Yes. Uh, thank you, Nati. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I have tried to submit uh, my assignment on time, though I didn't uh, finish it quite well. But I thought it would be better if I submit it on time than uh, I get half a value by a let's submission. So I did that and about my mentor, uh, we were uh, we are in fact chatting with him and we were talking on uh, the tasks which one was harder do you do you have some experience about the tasks before the training and what are you good at and uh, which task which specific task was uh, harder for you and he was asking me in return and uh, we scheduled a meeting for today um, in a specific time. Uh, so that's what I have on my side. If I would like to give the next, uh, I would like the next speaker to be someone I didn't heard of. So I'm, I'm looking in the chat list. Is Kaharati Ayende here? Kairat, are you here? Yes, good morning. Good morning. It's your turn. Come closer to the mic. I'm trying to hear me now. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Um, yesterday was... I felt it was a bit tense getting to almost deadline. I was I was doing pretty well since Monday, but then my code just I don't know somehow close to the um, close to when I was supposed to make submissions, I felt uh, I I got to know that I was doing some things wrong and some things were not working well, so I had to I had to like that was like the fastest moment I could rush things to make submission in like 10 minutes but no in like 20 minutes but it came out okay though i'm still working on it now but i'm glad i had a submission to make despite my code wanting to just turn off um, turn out on me so i'm good this morning i had i had sleep i had sleep mm -hmm. but i'll get back to it again today it was it was good Okay, uh, pick the next person. Okay. Um, Mubarak Sani. Good morning. Good morning, Mubarak. Okay. Well, so far, so good. My work has been going well. I was able to submit my work yesterday, although I submitted late. <coughs> it wasn't exactly 8 p.m. that I submitted. But I was able to submit my notebook and uh, um, the slides. But my problem now is with the dimensionality reduction. I have a question on it. <coughs> so um, my question is, are, am I going to, are we going to use the data that we've reduced to, to, to do the tax too? Or just to continue with the data I've been using for that's my question. So I don't I, I, for now I don't think I have much problem with my code. My code is good and just the dimensionality that's the parts that I need to work on. So your your question is if you're going to use the data that you that you've been using. Uh, yes, the, I mean the data that uh, that we've applied that that I've reduced. I mean that I've applied dimensionality reduction on. Are we going to use it for that too? Or that's mm -hmm. that's the question. <clears throat> you could ask that question on Rocket Chat, but if Abu Bakr is in the room, he can also ask. He can also answer that question. But, for but you. I, I think I will just ask one. Uh, oh. I will ask the question back. 
what do you think okay. it is i didn't get the question i mean what do you think sorry i didn't get that what do i think so you know like okay you okay. have the challenge and from what you know what do you think is the the um, you know the answer or your question should you use what you what you kind of reduce for task one to task two or do you have to do something else i i think i have to use the uh, reduce data for task two exactly. because this is a continuous one challenge right okay yes. so in a way like it, otherwise you have to do again on the same data task one and then do task two so you don't you don't need to do that so you can just use the data I mean, the understanding and the, all the code, <coughs> whatever, just continues. And not only that, even we are asking you to think about separating your code from general, from the specific from general, such that you can use the general not only this week, but next week as well. So in a way, okay. it's, it's always not like every task is more in one challenge is connected. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Abigail. I just wanted yeah, to jump in for a second as well. Um, so, on the people for the people who are in the three real jobs assignment, one of the questions was about: um, Are we going to be ready to be data scientists by the end of it? And I'd made the point about the value of experience. Um, and I think it's this is these are the types of questions where experience is important. And I think uh, what Yevabel asked is right on point. There's there there may not be one right or wrong answer, but you have to try and you have to ask these questions and have these discussions. So I would just encourage everyone to use the opportunity. You have very experienced people in the room. Um, you can also use the opportunity to have a discussion. And Yevabel, correct me if I'm wrong. There's often no one right or wrong answer. Um, there's a series of possibilities. Absolutely. I mean, I think it's, I, I think you have to build your intuition as well. Just that's what, in another way, which means some things that make sense, definitely write them, ask them, because that's very good. Um, but I would say over time, you, it, it makes sense. Like logically, there's no other way. Even if you, you think the other side, the no part in, for the question before, for example, means that you have to do task one to do task two, you can just rule it out on a pure logic. So it's it's kind of like that's called like you don't it, it shouldn't be told every single detail um, that of course if you are in doubt, absolutely there's no harm in asking. So I'm I'm not I'm encouraging that. But it's also you you know you have to there isn't always you cannot get a very very specific you know everything detailed thing in anywhere in the world it's just at least always you have to fill the gap um, and if that gap in filling the gap you, you find some uncertainty ask them absolutely i just want to we also have one more person in the room from batch one uh jean so jean feel free to jump in so jean has lots of experience um working as a data scientist as well so jean feel free to jump in i don't know if you want to turn on your camera and say bonjour Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Bonjour. Uh, hello. I don't know if uh, some of you this year are coming from French speaking country, but I am. Uh, I may know one people at least there, but uh, so between the students, I want to say. Uh, so, but that is it. I will just present myself. So, my name is um, Jean. So, uh, Jean Unoc. I don't use to call me Jean, 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 but so it's actually two surname together so Sean Enoch and um, yes I, I, I am coming from Ten Academy uh, two so batch one uh, 2017 uh, I had the opportunity to join Ten Academy and uh, what I can tell you guys is that it is it audible yeah, is audio yeah that, oh okay can, can you yeah me? that's much better yeah so what I will say uh, actually is that I have 
been given the opportunity to join Ten Academy since the batch uh, one, so 2017. And uh, I could just say it was amazing. It is an amazing experience. So then I've been working, as Aaron already said, um, I've been working in uh, some industries, so especially telecommunication and also uh, renewable energy and uh, doing data science, yes. So I've been uh, doing those things. If uh, you would like to know about my background, so I started with uh, a bachelor in agronomy, then another one in economic, and then a master's degree in bi biostatistics. And uh, yes, so then Penn Academy training in data science, and uh, I am doing also a master's degree in financial engineering. Today I am working in uh, with uh, a company uh, working in, in, in renewable energy, so NG Energy Assess. So you may know, you may not, but what I can say is that I am managing the credit department and with my team, we are doing a lot of data science. So I normally I have planned to give some uh, tutorials. So this week I am not available that way, uh, but we'll see how to manage so that we can have some for sure, don't worry. So in last year, I was working as a part of uh, the team, the academy team, and uh, yes, especially managing the daily data science activity, coordinating the student work. And uh, what I could also, I just hear someone ask about um, how are we going to become job ready data science? Are we really be going to become that? I can just say you, yes become uh, just be confident about what you are doing because i have been following some of the last year student and uh, their experience was just perfect perfect what i have been also seeing uh, some of you publishing the dashboard for linkedin and uh, yes so what you are just uh, doing is just amazing from week zero to week one i know you learn a lot and it's not even finished you are going to learn also a lot with time so i am there if you have any question if you like to know anything about myself just ask me about and uh, you may also connect with myself through LinkedIn or if you want, I, I think I will just ask I want to give my contact, my personal account so that we can just continue to talk. But with that, I think I will plan to give some tutorial. And uh, yes, let's stay together. <laughs> so and Jean offers anyone who comes to Cotonou a free beer. So anyone who can make it to Cotonou gets a free beer, a free beer from Jean. <laughs> La Benin was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I promise this one. If you you want to have there, uh, it's free. Eh? It's free actually. And uh, maybe. But, all, but all, only in Cotonou. <laughs> only in Cotonou, yes. You will have to take the flight and call there. <laughs> yes. So, any question from you guys? Would you, would you like to know something else about me? <laughs> I mean, Jean, we can set up another. We have we have a student discussion exactly. tonight. We can set up an evening talk. No problem. No problem. Yes, I'm okay with that. But I, I thought it was I thought it was interesting to also talk about if you can maybe say one word about your journey and this question of discovery and um, developing a sense of when you started working at MTN and how one has to keep learning, discovering, and testing. And there's no one right or wrong answer. Yeah. So can I go now about? Okay, good. Yes, yeah, so guys, I was, uh, <clears throat> before 10 Academy, I was, uh, I was a statistician. I was not even full statistician. I was, uh, I just had my bachelor, I remember. And uh, so the thing is, I have two bachelor because I have two baccalaureate. So I have one in mathematics side and another one in biology. And then I want to combine both. So I was uh, starting my first master of science. So I was starting the master in biostatistics. Uh, because I want to combine the biology side with the statistics side. And I was even in master one when I heard about Ten Academy. So it was uh, from one of my professor. He was in the, <clears throat> what I think, African Academy of Science. And he said, I hear about an opportunity. I don't know if you will be able to join, but they are looking for only few people. So it will be very competitive. Uh, I haven't give your name, but we'll see how you get there. Yes. 
And uh, then I have started, uh, I say, yes, I will take the challenge. So we have been competing. So I remember at the beginning, it was uh, about 2,200 people uh, competing. And then uh, 22 have been selected. And I had the pleasure to be between those uh, 22 people. And then I have started my journey uh, with 10 Academy. There I have discovered a lot of things, uh, many, many, many things about problem solving, about uh, how to use, uh, yes, so design thinking, design making, and especially I was interested in the data science approach to solve uh, actual problems. And then I have started thinking outside statistics. I was uh, thinking now like, uh, what in I can combine statistics and even computer science and also mathematics, but with the only goal of problem solving. And then, uh, yes, I think we was doing we was doing a course with uh, one of the professors from Aceh University in Ghana. And uh, yes, I think the course was about introduction to robotics and artificial intelligence. Then we was doing another course with big data in big data with uh, Yebe Bal. And uh, having been hearing about those new concepts, I was much more interested in it. So I decided to continue my journey in um, data science instead of simple statistics. So we did the training, then I come back to my country, but I didn't finish the master one. When I come back, the professor said, uh, yes, we have to start about the master two, but you have missed the exam for the master one. So I will give you only one month to take all the course to prepare yourself and do the exam. So that's what I did. I did it and uh, I finished the master when I was even uh, the second person. I think I have the second highest uh, average match uh, in the program. Then we started the master two. And I said uh, to myself, now that I have the concept, the initial concept from 10 Academy, and I have uh, the opportunity to continue in master two, why not looking for uh, a company actually uh, using a lot of data to apply some of the concepts I have learned uh, even in 10 Academy or in my master program in bar statistics. So the thing is that uh, I was looking for an internship in MTN and uh, there was giving me a full contract because I have passed uh, successfully all the tests and also I passed the interview and they say, uh, because uh, of your level, because what you have been demonstrating, and because especially I, I will not remember, I, I will not, uh, I, I will not forget this sentence. <laughs> they say, because especially you say you are coming from Ten Academy, and I've been googling about Ten Academy. We saw that it has significant impact. We are taking you. We are giving you directly a full time contract. So I was so happy. So uh, it was the beginning of uh, 2018, I guess. Yes, 2018. So I started with my full contract, but I started as a business intelligence analysis. Uh, so business intelligence uh, means everything about reporting, everything about data aggregation, SQL. So it's involved SQL, it's involved data analysis, it's involved uh, floating, it's involved dashboard making and decision taken from data and KPI computation, so everything about reporting. So I was so happy because of the uh, amount of the information I have to work with. And uh, yes, yeah, so you know, in the telecommunication side, you have a lot, a lot, many, many information. So I was uh, just, it was just amazing because I was before even working with uh, about 1000 rows data. So. I was working in a laboratory as a research engineer, but the data was not a lot. So it was not so challenging. So if you have, for example, 1000 data, you may know what I am talking about. You will not need any SQL query in order to manage your data properly. But then I was uh, moving from 1000 raw data to about uh, uh, 300 million rows data per day. So per so you have you can have an idea about the how big as it, it was, and because we are having a lot of telecommunication trans, uh, transaction in the country every single day, and all those transactions was coming from everywhere in the country, and also from every uh, so like <clears throat> data usage, data uh, voice usage, SMS usage. So there was a lot of things. So then, <clears throat> starting my journey as business intelligence, 
I did. And then I've been one day uh, just trying to run a kind of uh, logistic regression. I still remember that thing, a kind of logistic regression on uh, a problem set. So they just want to predict the probability of uh, some of the customers to adopt a new product. So I've been running something simple, very simple. And uh, yeah, so the thing is that when you are working with uh, in business in the company, in the company, they are always looking for the revenue. So the added value. So that's what they are looking for. So before I run the model, I remember I had a discussion with my boss. He said, how will we be assessing if your model is working or not? So at the technical level, you will say confusion matrix, everything related to I don't know, you will, take, you will tell them about technical side of the project. But this time, I just have the idea to tell about, yes, so as now, we are just targeting the customers with random selection with the new product. As I will be running the model, we will still targeting the customers, right? So we'll see how far the revenue will move uh, from this time to the time after we run the model. And we have been seeing that, so it has significant impact. So that's why, that's why I have started, uh, apart from the business intelligence job, I've now been given all the data science project. Because in Benin, this aspect is very poor. They don't really know about data science. And uh, even in Africa, I think in the last couple of years, so it has been improving, but before, no. And uh, yeah, so even the business intelligence side uh, was uh, traditional, but now it has been developed a lot. But uh, the data science side was not, so machine learning prediction side was not so developed. So just to say you that if you are joining a company today and they are recruiting you as a simple analyst or a statistician or a BI or something else, and you want to improve, you want to propose, you are free. I think people are not well educated about what could be the impact in the asset using those tools. So you have to educate them at the same time you are working in your current project. So that's what I did. And I've been managing all the data science projects, especially chunk, chunk prediction, inactivity prediction, a lot of things. Then I moved from there to another country, Cote d'Ivoire, where I have been working also as a data engineer in another telecommunication company. And uh, yeah, so then I worked with Ten Academy, and today I am working in renewable energy, not only at the technical level today, I am managing a, an entire department, so I have a team. I have a team of data scientists, so BI, business intelligence uh, analyst, and uh, then I am managing also the strategy of the department and the operation. So there are something up to technical uh, things I used to do. So that's my journey. I hope you you have here about it. I will be free to ask any to to answer any questions if you have any. Jean, thanks. I think it'd be great to bring you back with kind of a more scheduled, yes. to a real open Q&A session. But I'm happy to hear that this, the message that I take from it is that the career path wasn't directly one that you start something and you finish it, but actually there was a lot of iteration and learning. Correct. Correct. I agree. Okay. Thanks. Cindy, handing back to you. Uh, thank you, Jean. And we are out of time. It's uh, 11.33. So uh, there are, if you know that you've not finished submitting your assignments, please submit what you have and you can always update your call on your GitHub as, as you go forward. What we want to see more than anything else is effort, okay? This is not national again, it's where the grade is the main thing that we are considering, okay? So uh, if you have any challenges at all when it comes to either the submission of the assignment or doing the assignment itself, please reach out to your instructors or to me. On, uh, on Rocket Chat, and we'll be more than happy to step in and provide assistance where we can. Okay, um, I hope, uh, I want to reiterate, we will have a session tonight with Ada. Tonight, no, tonight, this afternoon, 3 to 4 p.m. UTC, okay? And I'm hoping to see as many of you as we can.
on there. The kind of insights and perspectives that Jean is offering are very important, and we're bringing you one of the people who can also offer additional perspective. Jean, you sound very passionate, and I'm delighted to e meet you, and I'm hoping that we are able to bring you on as soon as possible, perhaps even as soon as next week, and uh, we'll be reaching out and come in. Palsy, you've raised your hand. Go on. Good morning, and you're muted. Good morning, everyone. I would like just to say thanks to John for his presentation. That's it. <laughs> and we are we are from the same batch, the pilot batch. So I feel very happy when I see my friends joining the group for this batch four to make it great again. So thank you very much, and I hope you to have a nice day. Thank you. Ah, that is wonderful. <laughs> That's absolutely wonderful. So, uh, guys, is there anyone who has any burning thing we need to address before we close this up today? No, I, I think anyone? I just want to say anything. I just want to say I looked just briefly some of the um, interims. I think they are great. There are there is one thing that I picked up. I think people have um, it's a very very detailed. Not uh, so people like a lot of you have seen like the Gaussian distribution to be slightly uh, tricky like some of the plots you, you produced seems to be kind of Gaussian but it's it's very interesting even for me it's very hard to say whether it's Gaussian or not and I've been just even doing the research in that part that's our role and a lot of it is sometimes um, Laplace or log Laplace or Cauchy and you, you'll be surprised, it's so much harder to distinguish between these different types of distributions. But just to tell you that if, when, you, when, you, when you kind of see a very fat fail, a tail, like in the distribution, you kind of, it's interesting place to see when you have time, at least even after submission, um, to kind of understand the differences um, by just Googling and searching. I'll, I'll post a little bit on that, at least some references, but it's kind of, that is one thing that I noticed. A lot of the distributions are kind of Gaussian, but transformed Gaussian. Usually that means like uh, Cauchy distribution or um, Laplace distribution uh, or something like called log Laplace, log normal. So it's kind of, it's, it's good. That means like you're producing consistently, uh, at least the, mo the ones that I've seen. It's kind of, uh, it, feels, it feels like you're producing something nice. So I just want to say, great. And the ones who didn't submit, even if it's not going to be graded, you should submit so that you get a feedback. And that, at least it also gives you a benchmark. So great. Yeah. Thank you for that, Yababel. OK, great. So we will call this a session. And uh, we'll see you on the other side on Rocket Chat. OK, and uh, tonight. OK.